Okay, we have a new program I want to show you, and this is for reading uh, the type of ebooks called EPUB. It's actually very important because that that is the coming standard. Hopefully, more and more people are going to EPUB, and it's called Freda. And I uh, just wanted to show you first what it looks like, and then I want to show you its its so-called library. And what we do is we can start our file explorer. And then I'm going to go to my storage card, and I'm going to uh, get this book here, Tarzan the Terrible, copy it. And then I'm going to go to my documents and go to the Freda eBooks and paste it in there. Now you can change this location for your Freda eBooks uh, to anywhere you want, to your storage card if you'd like. And I'll show you that in a minute. But now let's go ahead and load our program. Okay, and I'm going to click anywhere on the screen to get my uh, open menu, and then I'm going to click on library, and then I'm going to click here to open up my ebook, and click OK. Now it'll take a second when it's loading. It's going to load it, and then it's going to paginate it, break it down into pages for you. Okay, now to move around in this, you can either uh, tap on the side of the screens. Whoops. Ooh, sorry about that. Let's go back. I'm going to load that book again. Okay. You can tap on the edge of the screen to go from page to page. You can also use your finger and you can slide up or down and that will uh, move the screen for you. Probably better move over to the side here. Okay, now anytime you want to access the controls you just click somewhere on the page and you have all your options and controls here. For example, I can go to Options and Application Settings. Here I can set my font. If I want to change my font to Courier, I can do that. And if I want to make it a little bigger, I can do that by simply controlling it here. I can go to Colors, and I can change the foreground and background uh, colors so that if I have a problem with glare or I simply prefer a different type of color, I can do that. I can change my default folders. <clears throat> I showed you in the beginning where, that the default library is in the My Documents folder, but if I want to change that to my storage card so the machine automatically reads any books on my storage card, I can do that right here. Uh, I can also uh, make some changes here. I can uh, enable animations. I can tell it to open the last book I read when it opens up. I can tell it uh, to show me the title of the book in the in the Windows uh, title if I want. Uh, here are some, some other controls. There's no point in going through every one of these. I think they're pretty self-explanatory. Let's get back here. Okay, when I'm done, I can click OK. Now here's another uh, way to go from page to page. Simply click on the little arrows at the bottom of the screen. <coughs> and I can, it'll, uh, it'll go forwards and backwards for me. Okay, now uh, something else I want to show you is uh, we have the option to use full screen mode here. This gets rid of the Windows title bar at the top, or I can bring it back by clicking again and click on window mode. It also has a rotation mode where I can change it to landscape. And then we have uh, find a uh, window or go to we want to go to previous chapter, next chapter, it'll automatically see it's, it's brought up chapter 2 for us. Uh, we can set bookmarks. We can uh, close a book if we want simply by clicking here. It's really an, an incredible program. 
uh, especially in, as far as the fact that it's brand new. Uh, he has some presets here. These have to do with the colors and the way the book is set up. This is so, his so-called night mode, and you can choose these if you'd like. And as you can see, the font is small and uh, the text is red. So not my <clears throat> particular favorite, that one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and close this out now. I, I really am pleased with that program. I think for a relatively new program, the fellow has done a great job. I talked to him the other day, and, and uh, or rather by email, and he... Uh, assured me that he's going to continue to support the program for, for a while to come yet. So I uh, hope that uh, is pleasing to you and it, it makes our machine yet more flexible because now we can, uh, we can read EPUB books with no problem. Thank you.